Hello boys and girls, or boys and girl, if there are any girls watching. This is the headphoneaddict.com and today I've got something really exciting to show you, which are a couple of devices from minidsp.com. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about what this is before I unbox it. Well, minidsp creates various hardware and software solutions for doing crossover and speaker correction also room correction and uh, what this means is that firstly you have in a speaker you have several drivers and these drivers all operate in a frequency band so with a crossover solution like this you basically tell one driver you're going to play the treble and uh, another one you're going to play the bass however in most headphones there are only one driver, a full range driver, which does all frequencies. So why is this very neat? Well, it also features a parametric equalizer. And uh, what you can do with that is to tweak the frequency response. So say you have a headphone, which is a little sibilant, but you like everything else about it. Well, with the mini DSP parametric equalizer, you can set it up so that you actually lower the treble and uh, you don't find them as harsh. So you can basically tweak the response of your headphones and I'm going to tell you more about that in the upcoming review and also I'm going to create a tutorial on how these things work. I would also like to tell you how I got my hands on these. Uh, these are actually lent to me by Mini DSP because I am a uh, earlier customer. I recently bought a mini DSB 2x10 HD for my stereo system and uh, I'm using that to do active crossover for a pair of JBL 4343B and a couple of huge 18 subwoofers which I recently built and I'm doing stuff like tweaking the frequency response of the closed subwoofers with something called a Linkwit transform but that is outside of the scope of this video. I can talk about it in the comment section if you're interested. And um, well, let's get on into the unboxing. So, yeah. Here we go. Yep, here we go guys, we have ourselves probably a power brick and one device and a second device and a ton of wonderful cables and an optical cable as well, great. So let's get these things out of the way let's just put that there and let's have a look this is probably the power supply i'm really excited to get this thing up and running here are a pair of power so that's the power brick and uh, it comes with uh, various con uh, various adapters so you can use it in any country you so desire great and then we have let's see here and they're only 170 bucks each which is a real steal for the flexibility that these great small devices offer so excellent excellent stuff and here it is and so the silver one is the Nano Diggy. Then there is the Mini DSP 2.4. So this is the Mini DSP 2X4. And what this device does is essentially the same as this one. However, this is for analog sources. 
Okay guys, so here we have both units out of the box and uh, let me tell you a little bit about them. Again, they are 170 bucks each and you don't need both uh, and I'm going to tell you why. If you would like to have parametric equalizer for your headphones and the difference between a parametric equalizer as opposed to a normal equalizer is that with a parametric equalizer you have much more flexibility. You can basically set the exact frequency you want to tweak then you can set something called the Q which is the width of how big the band should apply and then you boost or lower the peak or dip you want to get rid of. So you can do that with both of these and you can also do speaker crossover etc but you don't need that for headphones uh, because well basically most headphones only have one driver. If you really want to geek out you can also get this. This is the U-Mic 1, which I bought a long time ago, and uh, it's a USB omnidirectional acoustic measurement microphone with uh, its uh, calibrated microphone file, and uh, I use this a lot for tweaking my uh, stereo system, and also I measure my headphones using this one. It's only around 75 bucks or something like that. Great device. But back to these mini DSP devices. Uh, firstly, the black one is the mini DSP 2X4. And what this does is it takes an analog signal, so it goes before or after you D to A converter or record player or something analog, an analog source. So how this works is you basically connect your left and right analog signal, then this device converts the analog signal into digital, does all the processing of the signal, and outputs an analog signal again here at the front. So with this device, you actually have an analog signal coming in, it converts this analog signal into digital, the digital signal is processed, and then it converts the signal back from digital into analog. So this is actually a A to D and D to A converter. And it outputs the analog signal once again going into your amplifier. So you would want to get this device if you're going to use an analog source. If you're going to use a digital source, however, you would want to get the Nano Diggy, which is this one. And uh, this accepts both coaxial SPDIF input and uh, TOSLINK or optical input. And the way this works is it takes a digital signal, it takes the digital signal inside of the unit, processes it, and outputs a digital signal through any of these. And uh, as I said, I will show you how in the tutorial. As you can see, it also has a USB input. Actually, both devices have a USB input. And uh, the reason for that is not because you can use it as a uh, USB audio interface, because it can't. The USB, is, the USB interface is only for controlling the parametric equalizer through the application. But once you have set it, you can disconnect the USB and uh, you're basically good to go. So very nice devices with tons and tons of flexibility and uh, at an affordable price, uh, well, they're just a steal. So I am really looking forward to playing with both of these devices and especially the Nano Diggy, which will basically get the digital signal in from my computer here. Then I will do all the processing and I'll output the digital signal here into my D2A converter and then over to my headphone amplifier. And uh, well, it's going to be extraordinary. I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, even though I'm only allowed to borrow these units from Mini DSP, um, really thinking about getting this one for myself. So these were the two Mini DSP 2.4 and Nano Diggy and I'm going to make a guide of how to use it 
and how you can improve the quality of your sound. And what I think is really interesting about something like this is that I can basically use the U mic one measure a pair of headphones, say for instance the Audio Technica ATH M50X. I can take the response of the Audio Technica and I can tweak it with this and I can actually, if you have this too, I can send you the file so you can also use the same correction as me. So we could actually build a database of correction files and use uh, NanoDiggy or 2.2x4 and uh, share our settings with one another for our similar headphones. So that's great, really um, extraordinary if I should say so myself. So hopefully you liked this video and uh, now I'm going to go and play with these. So great guys, thank you for watching and um, I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.